Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we'll see how we can fetch data from API. So if you have any web services and you want to access data from it, so we use uh, libraries like Retrofit or Volley to fetch the data from API and in, the, in this video we'll use a uh, Retrofit library and in the previous videos uh, we have used Volley library to fetch the data. So if you haven't watched that video link is in the card and also it is in the description box so go and check out it so uh, retrofit has five inbuilt methods like get post put patch and delete and i will upload videos for each uh, method so now we'll see difference between volley and retrofit okay so this is the post i have posted this post on instagram so if you haven't follow me on the instagram link is in the description box do follow okay so retrofit versus volley so the main advantage with retrofit is the first point it handles json parsing by itself and volley requires some extra code for parsing the json so you will get idea about this when you will watch volley tutorials but later uh, while writing the code i will explain you this okay then second point retro retrofit does not support prioritization of request and volley supports prioritization and again a major difference retrofit has no built-in image loading support uh, we need to use glide or picasso to load the images from url and the volley has built-in image loading support retrofit and volley both support request cancellation and retrofit has no retry policy where volley has a retry policy and retrofit does not support caching while volley supports caching Okay, so this is the difference between retrofit and volley library. Generally, to fetch the data from API, retrofit is used. Okay, so now, so I have created one empty project and I have added one layout for each item. So we'll have four text fields. It's so simple. Uh, I have just one constraint layout, and inside that, I have card card view, and inside that again we have constraint layout, and inside that we have four text views. Okay. So first uh, we'll require retrofit library. So just search retrofit library and click on the first link. Okay, uh, hit on this download button and copy this implementation and build.gradle app level. I'll just paste it over here. And also will require JSON library. So just search JSON Android dependency Hit on the first link and copy this implementation. And I will paste it over here. So then hit on sync now. Till then I uh, will visit JSON placeholder site. So JSON placeholder is prefix REST API. So hit on this link. and navigate to the resource and hit on this post okay so this is in the latin but will not bother about language because we just need to fetch this data so we'll be fetching user id id title and body all of the fields okay so we'll require this url first uh, in our android hit on this and it says it says uh, change to 2.9.0 so hit on that and then again click on sync now okay so first of all we'll create one model class so i'll name it as post and in here we'll have four variables so private string sorry So we have user id id title and body so string user id id title and comma body then i will right click and hit on generate create getters select all okay so now uh, we need to create one 
interface so hit on your package and new java class and this is interface we'll name it as json place holder then we'll write call uh, this one coming from retrofit2 and as a type we'll pass list uh, post and we'll name the method as a gate post Okay, and we need to use annotation of gate coming from retrofit 2 again. And here we need to pass, let me show you. We need to pass this post and rest of the URL. I'll explain you later where we need to pass this. So post will pass it over here. Okay, so this is the interface. Uh, that's why we will we'll not implement this method. And uh, the major difference that I have talked earlier handles json passing by itself so so it will automatically implement this get post method and will get all the post okay so in the main activity what we'll do first in the activity main we'll just delete this text view and i will drag on recycle view over here constraint it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent ID will be the cycle view. Okay. So in the main activity, we'll just collect this. So first, we'll create a variable of our recycle view. So private recycle view, recycle view, and then recycle view equals to find by ID r dot id dot recycle view, and then recycle set has fixed size, and we need to pass true over here then recycle view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and we need to pa pass the context so this okay so now we'll create one adapter to set the data so hit on package and let's name it as a post adapter and this will extends to recycle view dot adapter and we need to pass inner class first we'll create the inner class so public class and let's name it as a post view holder and this will extends to recycle view dot view holder so alt enter and create matching constructor then we'll pass the post view holder over here then alt enter to implement methods and here we go okay so first of all we'll create one list of post and let's name it as a post list and again we'll create one context variable so context context and we'll create one constructor of this class as well so public post adapter context it will receive context and post list list post sorry post and let's name it as a post okay so this dot context equals to context and post list equals to post okay then in the gate item count we'll pass post list dot size and in on create view holder we'll create one view and we'll inflate the layout so layout inflator dot from context dot inflate r dot layout dot item and parent uh, attached to root will be false then return new post to view holder and here we need to pass view okay so in inner class what we'll do we'll find all ids of our widgets so in the item layout we have four text views title id body so text view let's name it as a title we can name it anything as we want id and user id and again we have body okay so in the constructor we will find the id using the item view so title equals to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot title tv okay so we have founded all the ids of our four widgets now we'll just set them so we'll create one 
instance of post class post post equals to post list dot k and here we'll pass position then we'll call holder dot id dot set text post dot get id then holder dot user id dot set text post dot get user id and then holder dot title sorry dot set text and then post dot get title and the last one holder dot body dot set text post dot get body okay okay so we have done everything right now the last thing that we need to do uh, we will create one retrofit instance so just write retrofit name it as retrofit equals to new retrofit dot sorry dot builder and on the next line dot base url we need to pass the rest of the url as i mentioned earlier so this url and we'll paste it over here inside the quotation marks okay so then add converter factory so here we need to pass json converter factory json okay okay so actually we don't need uh, this json implementation so i'll just remove this but we need retrofit converter retrofit converter json and we'll copy this implementation and i'll paste it over here i don't think now okay so now we'll write here json json converter okay still it is not identifying so we'll hit on the code sorry i will hit on the build and rebuild the project okay so the build has been done now as you can see json converter factory dot we'll write create and at the last we'll write dot build okay so now we need to call our interface so json placeholder we'll name it as json placeholder this will equals to retrofit dot create and we need to pass the json placeholder class so dot class and then semicolon then again we'll create one call and inside this we'll pass the list of post and we'll name it as a call equals to json placeholder dot get post and then semicolon so now we'll use this call variable and we'll use dot and q method and here we need to pass new callback list okay so in the on player on failure list now we'll just display one toast and this will be t dot get message and one thing i forget in our manifest file we need to add internet permission so users permission and internet okay so in the on response listener even we have implemented this on failure listener still we need to check if this response is successful or not so if not equals response dot is successful then we'll display one toast with response dot code and simply we'll just return from here return okay but if it is successful then we'll create one list of uh, post let's name it as a post list equals to response dot body then we'll create object of our post adapter so post adapter linked as post adapter equals to new post adapter and first thing we need to pass is the context so main activity dot this and then the list so post list and then semicolon then what we'll do we'll just set this with our recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter and we'll pass post adapter over there okay so retrofit implements uh, this method by itself 
so we don't need uh, to add some extra code like we have done in the Wally library videos so I'll hit on the run button okay so it is installed So as you can see user id is 1 id is 1 and this is title and this is body user id as 1 id as 2 and then so on okay so again what we can do here what we can do will some put some margin of 15 dp i guess okay and then in our post adapter so we'll concatenate these things id and colon plus okay so now i'll just hit on this run button okay so now you can see user id as one id as one then the title and then body and rest of the thing okay so it is working fine so in this video we have learned how you can use the get annotation or implement the get method coming from retrofit library and in the upcoming videos we'll use put patch delete and post methods so that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching